Sometimes you need things to be flat. There are various ways to get there, from a sheet of sandpaper attached to a flat surface, like a piece of glass, which requires patience, to power tools like the belt sander, which works fine for pieces not wider than the flat surface on the belt, but anything larger requires a steady hand and some precision. Hi, I'm Dominic from Dominic's Woodworks and I have neither patience nor precision. Hence, I give to you the quick and dirty thickness sander. I know there are also planers and jointers that can do flat, but this is for smaller pieces and people who do not own these tools. What you need for this is a rotating cylinder wrapped in sandpaper. I am using an oscillating spindle sander mainly because I have one. You can do the same using a sanding drum in the drill press, and I have in the past. The easiest method would be to clamp a flat piece to the table of your tool and then push your workpiece between that fence and the drum. On a side note, imagine the drum like a wheel of a car. If you feed your piece the wrong way, it'll propel it forward and possibly pull your hand toward the sandpaper. While this is not too harmful, it will be uncomfortable and thus should be avoided. So make sure to feed the piece against the rotation of the drum. Now, adjusting a piece clamped to the table is tricky and clumsy. This is where the promised jig comes in. I made mine from two pieces of scrap, a sled to be clamped to the table and a piece of plywood as the actual fence. I connect them both using a hinge and the one I used has a little play, but more on that later. At the other end, I drill a hole through the clamp piece large enough for a T-nut. I hammer the nut in and thread a bolt through, facing the fence. I did not have any longer ones, so I used a coupling to extend it and added a wing bolt from the other side. I thought about adding CA glue to lock the pieces in place, but as it turned out, they did not come loose at any point and this way I can still use them elsewhere later. Also, note that I used a bolt with a round head. A leg bolt would work too. The reason for that is that the point of contact from bolt to fence does not change should the bolt turn, as opposed to a hex bolt. And this is how it works. You turn the bolt way down and clamp the jig to the table so that your workpiece can pass between fence and drum just about unhindered. Then you turn the bolt. The coupling works better as a handle than the actual wing bolt to push the fence out just a bit. Pass the piece along the fence, turn the bolt, pass the piece and repeat until the desired sanding has been achieved, to flatness or thickness. You need one pretty flat side on your piece to ride against the fence, but you can get away with an uneven side as long as it does not wobble. Use it to sand one side flat and then do the other. This also goes for the hinge. The one I used was a heavy duty outdoors kind of hinge, not made for precision work, but as, long, uh, but as long as it does not wobble and I apply even pressure, it works just fine. Also keep in mind that sanding is about the hardest way to remove wood in large quantities. So if you need to remove a lot of material, maybe use a saw to somehow resaw the piece before you flatten it with this jig. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please share it with a friend. On my channel I do different kind of projects, so check it out and subscribe if you like what you see. You really should. Thanks for watching and remember to be inspired.